Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll showing you how to create this type of typography in Filmora using the new curved text feature. Let's not waste any time and dive into today's tutorial. First, add 12 video tracks to have enough tracks to work on this effect. Then drop any basic title on track 9 and make it 7 seconds long. Next, go to the setting panel then to the text box and enter your chosen text. I am entering typography design stay creative in this tutorial. Copy typography design and paste it at the end to make the text slightly longer. Change the font to any semi bold font of your choice. Set the font size to 20 and change the font color to red. Scroll down to the shape option. Select the first type preset and change the strength to 360 degree. Adjust the scale to around 47 and give it a bit of rotation. Duplicate the title on track 7. Then you can change the font to any bold font. Adjust the text size to 56 and change the color to white or any other color. After that decrease the scale to fit it inside the first curved text and give it a rotation. You can choose any rotation value. Then duplicate it on track 5. Change font to any other font. I am using impact font. Increase text size to 100 and remove the last typography design from the text. Then scroll down and decrease the scale to fit it in the circle and change the font color to red. Duplicate the title again on track 3, adjust the scale and use a different rotation value. Then change the font color to white. Then duplicate it again on track 1, change the font and then scroll down and decrease the scale. Then click on advanced option, off the fill color, on the outline, change the outline color to white and change the thickness to 1 and press OK. Next, we will keyframe the text to create a rotation effect. Select the track 9 title and place the playhead at the start. On the rotation keyframe, after 2 seconds add 30 to the rotation value. For example, if it is currently at 30, add 30 to make it 60. Then after 15 frame, minus 60 from the current value to make it 0. After 2 seconds, change the rotation value to minus 30. Then after 15 frame, change the rotation value to 30. Finally, at the end, add 30 to the rotation value and you will get this type of animation. Select the track 7 title on the rotation keyframe at the start. Then after 15 frame, add 60 to the current value. Then after 2 seconds, add 30 to the current value. Now follow the same steps to create a further keyframe on this title. Then follow the same steps from track 9 and 7 on the rest of the titles to create animation using rotation keyframes. On track 1 title, create start and end keyframes with a bit of rotation. Now to create shadow depth like a preview video, we are going to use a black solid color. For that, go to the stock media and from solid color, drop the black solid color on track 10 and make it 7 seconds long. Then go to the mask and select circle mask. Then change the mask height to 50 and then invert the mask. Then increase the scale and increase the blur strength and again adjust the scale. Then duplicate it on track 8. Decrease the scale to adjust it onto the second text circle and adjust the scale and blur strength. Then duplicate it on track 6. Reduce the scale and adjust the blur strength. 
again duplicate solid color on track 4 and 2 and follow the same steps. And once you are done with it, you will get this cool depth effect. Now to make it more interesting, go to the filters tab and then to the cinematic and apply the border desert effect on track 11, make it 7 seconds long and then change the opacity to 52. Then scroll down in cinematic filter and apply a blue beer filter on track 12 and make it 7 seconds long and change the opacity to 72. Finally apply the adjustment layer and make it 7 seconds long and then go to the color and adjust the temperature, vibrance, saturation, exposure, brightness, contrast and white. And once you render your project, you will get this awesome typography animation. If you enjoyed it, please consider hitting the like button and subscribing to my channel. It's completely free to like and subscribe. Stay tuned for the next video where I will share another awesome tutorial. See you in the next video.